Now that you've defined all your entities, attributes, and relationships, what can we do with these things? Uh, well, to do anything with it, we need to get a hold of them in our code, grab onto them, basically. And to do that, we need another important class, NS Managed Object Context. So I told you those things in the database are NS Managed Objects. You need an NS Managed Object Context, which represents a database, to do anything with them to get any of them, to create any of them, et cetera. This is the hub around which core data activity turns, as I say there. So how do I get one of these NS Managed Object Contexts? And the answer is, you need a persistent container. Woohoo! and you know where to get one of those. You just click Use Core Data, and it's gonna appear in your app delegate. You're gonna get that lazy var that's called Persistent Container, and that is gonna be a persistent container, and from that, you can get the context. Now, if you have the lazy var in your app delegate, how the heck do you call that bar, how do you get that bar? And this is how you do it, okay? You get a copy of the shared UI application. Now, we haven't talked about this, but your app has this one and only UI application object that represents your application, and you get it by doing uiapplication.shared. Okay, it's a bar, static bar in the UI application class. Gives you the shared one. Then you're gonna access this var in UI application, which is its delegate. Okay, now its delegate is automatically set up for you to be this Swift class app delegate that you see always, we always put it off in supporting files and get it out of our way, but it's created for you. It's a nice little class. We're gonna talk about the application lifecycle and where it fits in in a little bit. But for now, all you need to know is you can get that delegate and you wanna send persistent container to it to get that var, but of course you have to as it to be the app delegate class first. So this is the code you're gonna use, uiapplication.share.delegate as app delegate, all that in one expression, dot persistent container. Now you're gonna get this persistent uh, container. And I notice I'm doing as exclamation point, this will crash if my app delegate is not in fact app delegate, but it's already wired up to be that for you uh, when you create a new project, so that should never be a problem. Okay, so now I have uh, this persistent container. I need to get the context um, out of it. And so the container has an awesome var called view context. And the view context is an NS managed object context that's only suitable for use on the main queue. This is in red, you know, whenever you see anything in red on my slides, this means pay attention, it will matter for your homework uh, and in life. But you can only use this view context in the main queue, it's called view context because you use it with your views, okay, your UI views. That's why we call it uh, view context. Um, so why do I make a point about this main queue? Well, the reason I do that is because NS managed object context is not thread safe. But I'm gonna talk to you, talk to you about how we can do multi-threaded database stuff towards the end of this talk. All right, so now you have this view context and you can use it to do things. Now, it's so common to be accessing this that this line of code, UI application .share delegate as exclamation point app delegate parentheses dot particular, that's kind of a messy line of code. There's a lot of, there's as and all these things in there. So a lot of times we'll just create a static version of persistent coordinator in our app or persistent container in our app delegate. Okay, and we'll just call it the same thing, persistent container, but it's static and it's just gonna return that messy line of code. So now we can get that persistent container with app delegate dot persistent container. See what I did there? I just made it easier to get it by making that be a static, a class var. And we can do the same thing with view context. You might create a static called view context. And for the rest of these slides, you can assume I've done this, which is good because typing that long messy thing would make all my slides spill over uh, the edge. So I'm gonna use this shorter version as well. And you're welcome to create these static vars in your app delegate if you want to make your code a little cleaner. Now this view context and the persistent coordinator are shared. There's one of them that represents your entire database. So it's perfectly fine to create a single static that does this. By the way, what if you wanted multiple databases? You could even have multiple databases with different schema. Very easy. If you go look at the code for persistent uh, container, uh, in app delegate, you'll see it's only like four lines of code and you could just copy it to create a different persistent container using a different XT model D file. Instead of using model or core data example, create another one with a different one. Then you can just go new file, new file and create another data model. You could even create two persistent coordinators with the same model. So they would be separate databases, but have the same model, the same entities, attribute relationship. That's perfectly allowed as well.
But for everything you're going to do in this class, and really for most apps, you're going to have one big database, and you're going to have this one persistent container that is the container for it. Okay.